almost immediately after getting my 3D camera in the mail, I figured out a way to strap it to my head. And then seconds later, stood in front of a mirror to see what it looked like to look at myself looking at myself through my own eyes. It was fascinating to me. So this picture is what I keep going back to. And I've wanted to find a way to bring it into tilt brush. Then a couple days ago, I ran across this guy right here. It's just a drawing I made in some notebook. I thought, well, maybe I can draw that in tilt brush. Maybe I can draw, it's like a brain. But this time, I'm going to replace the microphone going to a recorder. That's going to be a 3D camera going, and these earbuds are going to be going to my cell phone, just like a photo. I think, I think that'll be pretty unique. Uh, I took this photo, too. It kind of helps me see what, what a brain would look like. So I'm going to mirror it and uh, use these two as reference. Um, just happened to have at that time. Whoosh. A little setup we got back here. I just grabbed the uh, a sphere. Already set this up, lined it up. Uh, that's something we should all know by now. Um, if you don't, I just took a sphere grid, lined it up with the mirror the best I could, and uh, I'm just going to use that. Anything I draw here is going to reflect on there. And I'm going to just put you guys uh, make you a little bit bigger. There we go. And then you are the overrunning theme of this. I've got to figure out how to angle the arm i don't know if i can get this this crazy warped perspective or not i'm going to try to uh let's see um so i'm going to start with i really like the icing brush i already had it selected there um i, I like the way it's matte and it has a little bit of texture and it's not going to be brainy <laughs> but it'll be interesting it's halloween right um and i'm going to need a pink color uh, Maybe something around, maybe something like mm, a little more, not hot pink. Blech. There we go. You can always change it. All right. Um, I'm also interested to try the tune brush. We might, we might go with that one. I'm going to drop this down just a little bit and you know, I'm grab this and move it over here. Kind of look at how this has a little bit of a pattern where it wraps around, it seems. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm new to this one, but let's give it a try. We'll just kind of do this kind of thing and wrap it up through there, maybe around like that. Hmm, there we go. It's not bad. I'm, I'm liking where this is going so far. It's, it's not bad at all. It looks brainy. I'm trying to do this all in one piece because, oh, let's see, uh, one goof up. Oh. I'm trying to do it all in one piece because it will all select at once if I need to move it or relocate it or scale it. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to kind of touch up these clear spots a little bit. But I'm actually really happy with the way this is turning out. Oh, and that's not bad. If I go, ooh, that's not bad at all. So I can go back through it. I'm going to keep going all the way and just kind of fill some holes in. But generally speaking, that looks really cool. I'm just, oh, okay, not bad at all. It looks brainy if I just go, now I can't go crazy with it. Calm down a little bit here. There we go. Just there we go. And hopefully, when I go back around, I'm gonna have to figure out the bottom too. I don't know what that's gonna look like, but I'm trying to stay pretty level with that line because I want it to look like it has a base. All right, we'll just kind of make some little lobes in there. Blah, 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 blah. All right, that doesn't look too bad if I jump across. Actually, maybe, whoa, it's getting away with me. As this moves closer and further away, as my controller moves closer and further away from the circle, 
it's more and less difficult to move the cursor accurately. Right now, I'm getting a little too far away. How are we looking there? There we go. I once did a paper in college that I accidentally called Brian Power <laughs> because I misspelled brain and I got I got hit for that for a while. Uh let's see. Now I think I'm gonna want to separate these somehow from each other. I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet. But I'm glad it was mirrored and it has the, the that looks neat. I just have to separate the two. Um no clue how I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Actually good tip. Good tip. I I uh this is a great time to save your sketch. Remember, save your sketch all the time. And this is a point where you can actually take enough of a photo of it that you'll see it next time, rather than seeing a picture of a blank page or you, you, you give yourself a reference. So save sketch, save new, and then you get to take a picture that will, will set your memory for next time uh, whenever you're drawing it. It's just a good little tip. Well, turns out all I had to do is this. <laughs> because they're opposites, so that works out great. All right, so I'm gonna take these two halves, I'm gonna leave them together like this for now because I'm gonna complete the rest of it and then just take all of this and move it apart. Um, but I want to, I don't necessarily need to paint the inside, but I do want to paint the bottom somehow. Um, that would be more of a, I don't know where to do, I guess I could just make a disc out of that or a series of discs. Um, Let's see, let me think about that one a little bit here. I want to, uh, because I think that it would feel a little more cartoony if it was curved under a little bit, um, even though I guess technically it sits in the, I don't know how it sits in your head, but I'm just gonna draw a little bit more, kind of curve it here, give it this kind of shape. And that's also gonna give me a chance to really eyeball where I want the bottom to be across the whole thing. Oh look! I'm, I'm of course. By the time you draw brains almost all the way through one time, you get pretty good at it. It's not looking bad. It's looking a little loopy, I guess. But all right, here we go. Get you back up there. All right, cover you there. Doing good. All righty. And as always, I am listening to a nice soundtrack, and I chose to not include music on this video because you can very easily add your own underneath. And uh, I don't know, however you think it's heavy metal. I'd be curious. Let me know what kind of music you play when you're watching me draw. Are you listening to heavy metal? Are you listening to, I don't know, what, what else? What's all, what else is there? Is there any other type of music? Let's see. Uh, we're wrapping around here. Come on. There we go. All right. And that looks about good. That wraps the whole thing. And I'm probably, I don't know. Did it curve normally underneath a little bit? I don't know. That looks, that looks really, really brainy. That looks really brainy. All right, so I'm going to kind of figure something else under there. And I think what I'm gonna go with is uh, I'm going to straight edge and make some concentric rings. Uh, I'm gonna start a mm, little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Whoop. This kind of ring right here. And in theory, it's just going to go right inside there. My idea is if I can get it just the right size in just the right place. It won't look like a brain on a pedestal, but instead will look like. How's it doing? Ah, oh, no, it's not, 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 not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, instead, will look like um, just a brain minus the pedestal. Now I'm going to get that same one. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to scale it down, and repeat and repeat and repeat, just inside, like I'm making a clay pot. Right inside here, I'm just going to bring it in. Now it's going to take a second to line up, but 
Uh, I'm just going to keep making those smaller and smaller and smaller and wrap down, wrap inside like this, and follow the curve of the outer brain. Should be good, right? Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Looks good, looking good. All right, now I'm going to copy that one. Actually, I'm going to select both of these. Ooh, I get it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Whenever I do something crazy like that, I do a big undo. I like really undo it, make it too far out of the way. So then I automatically undo it and put it right back to where it was. Um, I want to copy those two. All right. Take you two. Okay. You two are going to get scaled down a little bit. And I'll adjust everything as needed, but we're already kind of looking at a little bit of a clay pot in there. Gotta 